everybody. Rich Lang with Prep U Dom here in the bunker, and it is Thursday, so it must be time for your range tip of the week. Hey, this is kind of a, I don't know, I don't want to call it controversial, uh, but I just wanted to explain a couple of things about remanufactured versus reloads. Um, and we're specifically talking ammo. And we at, uh, at the place where I work, we have a company, uh, and they provide us with remanufactured loads. We also have, uh, we've also seen them out uh, on, in the bulk ammo sites that you can get remanufactured. A lot of people have the, they don't know the difference between uh, remanufactured and reloads. Uh, in the industry, if it's done from a company that makes bullets, it's not considered a reload. It's re considered remanufactured. And the reason that is, is that the bullets go through the exact same process that a new bullet does, um, but they're using old brass. Uh, they still uh, mic the brass. They still make sure that, you know, like making sure the thickness of the, the uh, casing is still good. New primers. Well, yeah, even reloads to have new primers. Sorry about that. Um, but it's made by a company. It's normally done in company, uh, very large batches as compared to uh, reloading, which is me, you, guy down the street, whatever. Uh, anywhere from just wanting to reload to save some costs, uh, although costs for those supplies are getting up if you can even find them too, to guys that I know that they make specific bullets for specific things. Uh, a lot of these guys are uh, competition shooters. Uh, they do use different grains, different style um, of uh, powder, different weight of bullets, uh, different thicknesses of brass and stuff like that. Um, those are the guys you want to get your reloads from. Not the, you know, not the guys down the street that's just like cranking them out. That's why we've talked about it before going to a, a, a gun show or a firearm show and just buying somebody's bullets, you know, unless you know the guy because you don't know what the, um, oh, how well they're, they're watching quality control on those. Uh, some, some are like three, eight position uh, presses and it goes pretty quick some are handheld uh, so you don't know so we always give that warning to people buying you know reloads as compared to remanufactured uh, remanufactured like I said are run through the same machine it has a quality control uh, it's um, the, the casings are set up the same they are trimmed properly the ammo is put in perfectly and it's a little bit better load. The one thing you're going to find, though, with that is that if you ever open up a box of remanufactured and turn them over and uh, look at the bottom of the cases, they're all different. I was showing a guy at the ranch the other day uh, that, that the, I mean, there was uh, PMC, there was Remington, there was Winchester, uh, Sig Sauer, uh, all different kinds of brass was in there. And the problem with that is a lot of you guys and gals know that you can't shoot every type of ammo in your firearm or the rifle that you have. And a lot of that comes down to, if you look at the base of the bullet, the little ridge, which is where the extractor comes in, grabs and pulls, some extractors don't like how a bullet uh, casing is made at the extractor uh, bottom. Uh, call it the butt section of, of the uh, the case and buying remanufactured you're gonna you may run into that if you have a, a firearm that's finicky so that's another reason you may not want to want to use those um, when push comes to shove if it's for me if it's going to be aluminum steel or brass reloads and it's let me take back up steel aluminum new brass reloads if push comes to shove, I'm going to use a brass reload. I just don't like steel or aluminum in my firearms. Um, one doesn't like them, and uh, a couple of the other ones, I, or all the other ones, I don't want to put them in there. And uh, not that I have an ammo issue. I have plenty of ammo. But that's just, you know, that's just my two cents about that. Um, and I've also found, and I don't know if this is just me it's, it, or what, but I have also mm -hmm. found um, 
remanufactured seem to be a little dirtier for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know if you, they're using uh, uh, cheaper powder or what they're uh, what they're using. Uh, that's why another reason I don't like remanufactured uh, reloads. The guys that I do get some reloads from, these guys, um, these guys are professional shooters. I know what they use. Um, when I ask for a sp specific bullet, mostly for my rifles, not not for my pistols, I, I know what I'm getting. You know, so if you've got a good supply there, uh, should be no problem. But it's up to you. So I just thought I'd throw that out. The difference between reloads and remanufactured, and some of the uh, the pros and cons of, uh, of that. Uh, the also thing with uh, the reloads, um, I know all the cases are the same, uh, and I know that they work in my rifle. So that's it. Uh, Rich Lang with uh, Shoot Point Blank. Shoot Point Blank. Why did I say that? I do work there. Sorry. I guess that was a plug for uh, my boss. Anyhow, uh, with Prep U down here in the bunker, um, wishing you a happy Thursday and hope you have a great weekend coming up. And uh, like we always say, Prep Like Your Life depends on it because it does. Subscribers, thank you. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do. All right. Take care. See you.